I'm gonna be sharing with you the best picks for spring at Sephora. If you guys aren't aware already, the spring savings event is happening right now at Sephora, which is something that I look forward to every year. So this happens twice a year, once around the holidays, once around spring, it's the spring event. So it's the perfect time to stock up on your favorites. I've got a ton of my favorites with spring in mind sitting in front of me that I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm so excited because Sephora is actually sponsoring today's video, which is major. I'm so grateful and so excited because because this is truly a video that I love to make every single year, every holiday and every spring. I love to bring you guys my recommendations, so I'm really excited to be working with them today. So the spring savings event means that all members starting April 1st get 30% off of the entire Sephora collection. So that's already started. If you're a Rouge member, you get first access, which is available to you right now. It started on the 1st. You can use the code SAVESPRING for 20% off. Starting on the 5th, VIB members can use the code SAVESPRING to receive 15% off. And then starting on the 7th, insiders will be able to receive 10% off using the same code at checkout, which is save spring. And this event will go to the 11th for all the members. It is such a fun time of year. So I am a Rouge member, which means it's already started for me. So I've probably already placed a couple of orders by the time this video goes up. However, I will be sharing with you guys my wish list after I recommend what I feel like would be worth checking out during the savings event. So let's start off with skincare. When it comes to flawless spring makeup, I really feel like I personally love to focus on skin. I love when my skin looks a little bit more dewy and I tend to go for less coverage, which means that my skin needs to be in better condition in order to do that. Something that's been really helping me with my tone and texture is the Shawnee Darden Retinol Reform. I absolutely love this. I've been using it since Christmas, so since December. And I actually picked this up during the last savings event, which was amazing. Here's what it looks like. You can tell that it has a nice concentration of retinol in there due to the yellow color. It's a really, really smooth retinol and retinol basically helps to resurface your skin. It helps with pigmentation. It helps with texture. It does all the things. Um, this is my nighttime serum. And when you wear this, you wanna make sure to apply sunscreen in the morning when you use this at night, which I will share a sunscreen I'm loving as well. Retinol can tend to be a little more of a drying ingredient. So I also love to pair that with my Skin Fix Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. This is well loved by me. I think I'm gonna have to pick up another one during the savings event because I'm almost done with this. this this is my second bottle and I absolutely love this. It's my favorite to use at night, especially with this Shawnee Darden Retinol. I think they're both amazing. This really helps just correct and rejuvenate my skin. This helps to hydrate and replenish my skin. So I really feel like they are a match made in heaven. During the last savings event, I actually picked up a really fun bundle from Shawnee Darden, which I wanted to show you guys in case you're interested in the same thing. So this is actually called the Sculpt and Firm set, I believe. I'll pop up a picture right here for you guys so you can see um, that it actually comes with this device, which is a sculpting device, which I love this. It uses sound waves to really help sculpt the face. It helps with your skincare, being able to absorb better, all sorts of things. You can read about it on Sephora's website, but I was so excited that a full-size retinol came in this kit. And then you can use the code SAVESPRING at checkout and you get even more of a discount on the already discounted bundle. So I wanted to make sure to throw that in there because it's a really good time to save on larger ticket items that maybe you normally would be more hesitant to invest in. That's what I did anyway. I waited for the event and I'm so happy that I picked this up. So I'll have both options down below for you guys. I'll have like the retinol on its own and then that set in case you're interested. So like I said, sunscreen is really important if you're using a retinol and I just barely mentioned this in my favorites video recently and it is so amazing. This is new from Tatcha. This is the Silk Sunscreen. It's a hydrating mineral sunscreen. It's got niacinamide and hyaluronic acid with an SPF of 50. I love this so much. It actually has a really beautiful tint to it, which I'll show you. It absorbs beautifully into the skin. There's zero white cast, even though it's a mineral sunscreen, and it literally feels like silk all over the face. I haven't found it to pill up over any of my moisturizers or other products, and I find that it works really, really well underneath makeup, which is key for me because, you know, I wear makeup in the daytime, and I also wanna make sure I'm wearing sunscreen. So this has been a staple for me, and it's perfect for spring. It's very luxurious, but it's one of those products that if you're a makeup lover and you want a really gorgeous feeling sunscreen that will work with your makeup, I think you really should check this out. It's amazing. 
So that's skincare, and when it comes to makeup, I love something that's gonna make me feel and look really, really fresh. I'm wearing the products that I'm gonna be sharing with you. I'm so excited to share these things with you. I've talked about them before, but they really are my favorites. The first thing that I literally cannot get enough of is this right here. This is from Say Beauty, and this is their Glowy Super Gel. I have mine in the shade Star Glow. I'll show you guys what this looks like. It's a very lightweight gel-based product. I'm gonna buff it into my skin so you can see how beautiful this is. It has a pearl to it. It's not sparkly whatsoever, but it gives you the most dewy, fresh, healthy looking skin. Look at this. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's gorgeous on its own. You can use it all over the skin as a base. Um, you can use it on the high points as a highlight, which I did today, and I love doing that. Um, something else that I just barely learned, I was on TikTok and I was watching Amanda Kokueva. I don't know how to say her last name, but she made a TikTok where she said to mix these two, which I'm gonna talk about this in a second, which are two of my top products right now. And so that's what I did today. I did like two pumps of the foundation and then one pump of this Say highlighter and I put it all over my skin. So that's what's all over my face right now and I absolutely love how fresh it looks. So that's a fun little tip for you. But I feel like it's especially gorgeous on the high points of the face. It doesn't break up any of my makeup underneath. It's so beautiful. This is probably one of my top recommendations right now. If you haven't tried this, definitely pick it up. They also have a travel size, which, you know, if you just wanna test it out, it's a great option as well. So don't sleep on this. It is so good and it comes in two shades. There's a deeper shade as well. It's stunning. I knew I had to recommend this foundation for you guys. This is my current favorite foundation at the moment. It's the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I use the shade L2 Mont Blanc and Again, it's what I'm wearing all over the skin mixed with this. This is such an amazing foundation. Somehow it's lightweight, but it has coverage. Somehow it dries down, but it looks dewy. It lasts all day, but feels weightless. I don't know. It's the best of all worlds for me. So I knew I had to recommend it. You can see how lightweight this is and it really shears out so beautifully. A lot of these products that I'm talking about for spring kind of have a skincare feel to them and that's how I feel about this foundation as well. It has the texture of a skincare product with the qualities of a foundation, which is just so amazing. And I am so picky with foundations, you guys. I've been trying all the new hyped foundations and I'm still reaching for this one. Even though there's some really good ones that have launched recently nothing compares to this foundation in my opinion I am obsessed with it so as much as I love to have a dewy finish on my skin for spring I also have to have it set and locked down all day because I do get oily in the t-zone so I have two powders that I want to share with you again um, these are not new things uh, that I've talked about. I've talked about them both many times, but I still think they're the best at Sephora right now, especially for this aesthetic, if you're going for something fresh for spring. A loose powder that I just cannot get enough of still is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. This is in the shade Cupcake, so it has a nice light pink undertone, which is really beautiful for brightening up the skin. This comes in so many different shades. I love that it really locks your makeup in, but looks virtually invisible and feels weightless underneath the eyes and all over the face, it's top notch, it's gorgeous. If you're looking for something to really smooth out your T-zone and make you look absolutely airbrushed, you must pick up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Skin Powder. This is a staple, it's a must have. If you have not tried this, you should. Or if you have tried it, it's a good time to stock up on your favorites as well, which for me, this is truly a favorite. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what this does, because I've had this makeup on for a couple of hours now. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this powder and just run it through this area here where I have larger pores. And you can see it literally erased the texture in that area. It is so beautiful. This is loved by so many celebrity makeup artists and it's just a foolproof, timeless powder. So it's a great touch-up powder for spring if you're like me and you wanna keep that glow on the face but you don't want to look oily. This is a great powder to have in your bag to just do touch-ups throughout the day. 
When I think of spring makeup, I think cream blushes, and I've got several that I'm excited to share with you guys. I love a good pop of color for spring, and I have been loving cream formulas, but I'm still a fan of powder blushes as well, which is why I think these Patrick Ta blushes are so amazing because it's a blush duo. So I've got two right here. This is actually a new one. This is the shade She's a Doll, which is a gorgeous bright pink. This was actually one of the shades in the holiday palette that they launched last year, and they released them in a single. So I wanted to share this one with you because I think it would be so gorgeous for spring. It is so gorgeous for spring. Um, and then my other top pick is She's That Girl, which is a little bit more peachy. I've got several that I love. I'll have them listed down below, but I love the idea of a cream and powder option. These are tried and true for me. They're amazing. If you want just a cream blush that's gonna really last all day, and it's actually so fun to mix and match with these, I would recommend picking up the Rare Beauty blushes if you haven't yet. These are three shades that I personally love the most. So I've got the shade Happy, which I have on the skin. I actually mix this with another shade. This one's a really pretty bright pink color. I also have the shade Bliss, which is a gorgeous peach, and then Hope, which is more of a mauve. So today I actually mixed these two shades together, Bliss and Happy, to get the blush color that I'm wearing right now. These are so fun. They're very long wearing. Um, they have different mixes of mattes and dewy finishes, which is really fun. Perfect for spring. It blends beautifully on top of creams and powders. A little goes a long way, so it's worth the investment. I love these. Plus, I think the packaging is so cute too. It comes with a doe foot applicator, which I think is great. So I personally love to apply these to the back of my hand first and then pick it up with a brush. Rare Beauty actually makes a blush brush that works great with these. So I'll have that link down below as well if you need a brush recommendation for applying these, but those are amazing as well. When it comes to spring makeup, I always love to reach for my clean beauty brands as well. So if you're looking for a clean blush option, the one from Say Beauty is gorgeous. This is their Dew Blush in the shade Peachy. It is so pretty. This is actually the only shade that I have from them, but I do want to pick up more. I'll tell you guys about that in a second when I share with you my wishlist items, but this is also a really, really cute color. This also comes with a doe foot applicator, but I really love both of these liquid blushes from Rare Beauty and Say Beauty. They're so nice. Speaking of clean beauty, I have been really into a mascara from Cali Ray. This is actually the mascara that I'm wearing right now. This is a tubing mascara, and it's a very great everyday mascara. So the wand is a pretty simple, classic mascara wand, but the formula really lasts all day long. It's actually a little bit difficult to remove. That's not a deal breaker for me, but when it comes to the spring and summer months, I feel like I'm gonna be reaching for this quite a bit because it's almost waterproof feeling without tugging on your lashes. Because it's a tubing formula, all you need to do is use warm water and just let it soak into your lashes at the end of the night and then it will fall off. It just takes a little bit more time to soak the water for it to come off, which I think is a good thing if you're looking for extreme longevity with your mascara. So I've been reaching for this quite a bit. It's a clean formula, which, you know, is just kind of fun to add into your everyday routine, especially in spring and summer. So I wanted to make sure to mention this as well. And it's not as volumizing. You can see it gives me volume, but it's more lengthening and fluttery, which I know a lot of people like that style when it comes to a mascara. But for more glamorous occasions, I love super voluminous mascara. So I'd say this is more um, of an everyday type of mascara when it comes to the aesthetic that it gives your lashes. It's very lengthening, very fluttery, and it wears really, really well. So I wanted to make sure to mention that. I talked about these glosses in my favorites video as well just recently. They're from Patrick Ta, it comes in five shades. Look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, I cannot get enough of these glosses, you guys. These are the major volume plumping glosses. Um, yeah, five shades, they're all so gorgeous, but I will say I've been using the two colored ones the most. I'm actually wearing this one on the lips right now. This is the shade Full Syringe, and then I also love two CCs. You can't go wrong with any of them, but the reason why I love the more colored ones is I feel like it really tints the lips and it gives you such a chic hint of color. I'm gonna add just a little more without looking overboard. I feel like this makes my lips look so juicy and so fresh, perfect for spring. And it lasts a really long time on the lips, which I love as well. So I wanted to make sure to mention those. This is more of a plumping formula, so you're gonna kind of feel 
a slight tingle to the lips. So if you're into that, I think you'll really enjoy these. It's not anything overpowering or distracting. If you hate the feel of plumping glosses, I have another gloss that I really love. This formula from NARS is to die for. This is the Afterglow Lip Shine. I have a bunch of the colors that they sent me, but this is by far my favorite, especially for every day. They have a lot of bright colors, which if you're into that for spring and summer, I feel like you can't go wrong with any of the colors, but this one is in the shade Nympho, and it's just a gorgeous mauve neutral color, which for me, I love on an everyday basis. I'm just swatching it for you guys real quick. Here's what it looks like on the back of my hand. It is so comfortable on the lips. It gives just the right amount of color. I'm obsessed with this. So if you don't want any sort of tingling or plumping sensation, but you want a really fresh, healthy looking lip, be sure to check these out. They're so nice and amazing for spring and summer. But honestly, I could see myself wearing a formula like this all year round. It's just absolutely stunning, I love it. So those are all the products that I wanted to recommend for you guys. I feel like they're the perfect products to achieve just a fresh, healthy, glowing looking complexion and just aesthetic for spring. And so I hope that my recommendations helped you out. Of course, as always, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the products that I'm the most excited to potentially pick up. I'm gonna pop up a picture right here. I'm dying to try the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. It's gonna be at Sephora by the time the Spring Savings event has started. So I wanted to mention it because I really do wanna try this. The same goes for the new Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette, which I'll pop up right here. It's rosy tones, it's gorgeous, it's textured. I'm so excited about it. So I'm definitely eyeing that as well. So I've got some more products that I'm gonna share with you guys that I've been eyeing which I will also pop up right here. So the first thing is the Pat McGrath Mothership 6 eyeshadow palette. I've been eyeing this palette for a long time now and I keep seeing Mary Phillips use it on Instagram. So I'm like, okay, I really do feel like I might actually pick that up this time. I've also been really, really wanting to try out the Tom Ford lipstick in the shade Blush Nude. I picked up the shade um, Sable Smoke recently and really, really love it. And I hear Blush Nude is a really nice, similar tone, but more pink. So I'm excited about that. I also really want to try out a new shade in the Say Do Blush, which is this one right here called Chili. This is actually described as a cool toned mauve. It looks really pretty. And again, I'm so into cream blushes for spring, so I'm super interested in that. I've definitely been eyeing a lot of lip products from Makeup by Mario. You guys probably know I'm obsessed with the lipstick from Makeup by Mario in the shade Erin. It is iconic and amazing. I'll actually have this one linked down below for you guys because I love it so much. It is more of like a matte whipped formula, so not like a juicy glossy finish for spring. However, I really feel like it's still a staple. But I've been looking at picking up an ultra suede sculpting lip pencil. I'm looking at the smoky pink color. I, I don't know exactly what colors I'm gonna pick up, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted if I end up doing a haul or try on for you guys. So that's the lip liner. I'm also looking into the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream in the shade Pinky Brown. So I'll pop that one up here as well. There's some really gorgeous colors in this, but for some reason, pinky brown sounds amazing. And then I've also got the Ultra Suede Lipstick, which is this same formula in the shade Jessie in my cart right now. So that's also an option. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick up every single one of those lip products. I might, I don't know for sure yet, but I like to keep everything in my cart just in case, you know. I also have been eyeing the Say Beauty Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. I've heard really good things about that, and I'm always down to try new products from Say. They're just such a fun brand. And I might pick up a fragrance. I've been really into Replica by the Fireplace, but I've been wanting to try out Replica Jazz Club, which is a similar type of fragrance. I actually did smell it in a Sephora store not that long ago and really liked it, but I don't know if I wanna take the plunge and buy the full bottle or just do a travel size right now, so I'm not quite sure, but that is in my cart as well as a potential thing for me to pick up. But yeah, those are my top picks right now for products at Sephora that I think are gonna be staples for me for spring, and I hope that you guys, if you end up trying any of these, I hope that you love these products as much as I do. I will have all of the info and the dates in the description box down below for the Sephora Spring Savings Event. Don't forget to use the code SAVESPRING on your orders. You can use this code as many times as you would like, which is amazing because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I place probably three or four orders every single Sephora Savings Event because 
I'll narrow down my cart and then place an order and then be like, oh wait, no, I do really want those other things. And so I'll place like another order. So it's really great that you can use it as many times as you would like. You can use it online, you can use it in stores, you can use it online and then pick up your order in stores. There's lots of ways to shop this event, which is really great. As far as the 30% off the Sephora collection, there's no code needed to save on that. And if you're not yet a Sephora member, you can sign up for free and you'll get 10% off as soon as you sign up. I would love to know in the comments down below what you guys are eyeing for this savings event. So be sure to leave your favorites in the comments. I can't wait to read through them. If you wanna see more of my recommendations, I'll have my last video in the description box as well. I list out a ton of my staples from Sephora. So if you're looking for more, be sure to check out that video as well. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Happy shopping. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.